mom actually let you watch this? Yeah, she likes it too. <laughs> oh okay, well, yeah. Have you ever seen her in concert? No, but she's coming to Houston in April. She's coming to Houston? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, your dad and I could get you tickets and, and you could stay with us. That'd be great. Yeah. Hey, hey, Annie. Yep. Will you give me the, the, the little birthday present for Mason? Yeah, baby. All right, this one, this one needs a little explanation, okay? Open it up. I call that the Beatles Blackout. All right, what it is is the best of John, Paul, George, and Ringo solo post-breakup. Thanks. Yeah, basically I put the band back together for you. <laughs> you know, when you ever listen to too much of the solo stuff, it kind of becomes a drag, you know? But you put them next to each other, right? and they start to elevate each other. And then you can hear it. It's the Beatles. Yeah. I don't know. I think I always just like Paul the best. It doesn't matter. You know you're missing the point. There is no favorite Beatle. That's what I'm saying. It's in the balance. That's what made them the greatest fucking rock bands in the world. OK? You know, and there's this decade of music out there that's been scattered, all right? And now it has been carefully found, arranged, and ordered for you by your loving father, very arranged and very organized over and over again by your loving father. Yes, yes, yes. So, I mean, look, look at that, look at that. Uh, top of volume two, first four tracks. You got Band on the Run, Into My Sweet Lord, Into Jealous Guy, Into Photograph. Come on, it's like the perfect segue. You got Paul takes you to the party, George talks to you about God. John who says, no, it's about love and pain. And then Ringo who just says, hey, can we enjoy what we have while we have it? It's a good record. I shit you not. <laughs>